Sex is the life force energy that runs through us all. Can you use sexual energy for your spiritual evolution or perhaps for emotional healing? Is it even possible? Clinical sexologist Dr. Martha Tara Lee will explore all these and more on Eros Evolution on Om Times Radio. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. This is Dr. Mata Tara Lee of Eros Coaching, and this is Eros Evolution, where sexuality and spirituality meets. In this show, we always explore the link between the sexuality and spirituality because I believe our sexual lives is a big part of our spiritual evolve evolvement, <laughs> if there's such a word. And today I have an amazing guest. We'll be talking about her book, The Marriage Sex Solution. And we have Dr. Kate. She'll be discussing her book based on the sex therapy program that she has developed over the past 14 years, working with hundreds of clients. You'll be able to find her book, The Marriage Sex Solution on Amazon. We'll be talking about the five tenants of the marriage sex solution. So let me introduce Dr. Kate Van Kurt. She is a board certified clinical sexologist and licensed marriage and family therapist. She is the resident sex expert of adamandeve.com and does a variety of media work from hosting a nationally syndicated infomercials, educational DVDs to spokesperson work to co-hosting her popular iTunes podcast, Sex Chat with Dr. Kate and her gay boyfriend. She is an author and regularly quoted by the likes of Cosmo, Men's Health, Women's Health, L, Self, amongst others. You can find out more about our guest today by visiting her website, drkate.com and signing up for her Confessions newsletter. So welcome, Dr. Kate. Hi, I'm so glad to be here, Martha. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming on. Sure. It's uh, obviously, it's, you know, especially that linkage between sex and spirituality. I don't think people are talking about it enough for sure. Mm. So could you tell us, uh, before we go into the five tenets of the marriage sex solution, what you feel is the link between our sexuality and spirituality? Well, it's interesting, you know, um, my book that I'll be talking about today, which is The Married Sex Solution, A Realistic Guide to Saving Your Sex Life, is very, very practical uh, mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people don't realize the true connection between sexuality and spirituality. Um, I, I think there is, in general, a lack of consciousness of that. Uh, but I think part of the reason why so many people really crave the sexual and physical connection with one another, because that is the experience that helps us all get closest to the idea of what, you know, God or universal compassion or whatever you'd like to, to call it. Um, that's the closest thing we as human beings have. Mm. <laughs> to God and compassion. Yeah, absolutely. Um, an orgasmic experience, if, if you look at orgasm specifically, mm that physical and mental sensation that we experience, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, you know, is one of the few times in our life where I think you can be completely present moment. And I think that is definitely a direct link to who we are spiritually as well. Mm. Yeah. So, some of the guests that I have uh, brought on the show, they they, they talk about um, about this, and they always uh, feel that um, well, m because they are also tantra practitioners, so they always see tantra as the way to uh, sex and spirituality. Yes. What What do you feel about? Um, people who don't have that background and they, they still find that there's this link. Yeah, I think Tantra, I, I think Tantra is amazing and wonderful mm -hmm. and it, it can be, 
made into something. I actually have a, a practical Tantra program too mm. that I've worked with couples with that for people who are a little gun shy about the heavy duty spiritual component of it, mm. um, I've tried to break it down into more practical kind of bite size. Like, you know, what's the easiest way for you to incorporate some tantric practices? Mm. Um, now for people who uh, just don't want to go towards tantra at all, because I think it is intimidating for some people. They either consider it a very high sexual practice or you have to be a very spiritual per you know, person to do it. Um, I think in actuality, people are practicing tantra and they don't even realize it. And so when I'm working with couples and I talk about breath mm. and touch and kind of energetic experience, um, and I also do forms of yoga therapy with clients as well, mm. um, and movement, uh, mm. mo movements and yoga therapy, that it's really, it's just fascinating because once I point that out to many clients, it seems that, oh, you're already doing this in some ways. And here are some additional, you know, tips of ways you can incorporate more Tantra in a therapeutic way that people end up being far less intimidated and more apt to try it out. Mm. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a really interesting phenomenon, mm. you know, um, because it's, it, Tantra's got so many, I think, myths and expectations about it and the way it's been portrayed in the media. And, you know, there is obviously some very serious tantric pra practitioners out there who it's a lifestyle and it's their spirituality, but that's not going to be how it is for everyone. And so mm. therefore I like to be able to still allow for components of that so people can utilize it and benefit without calling themselves a tantrika necessarily. And some, some other sexologists may disagree with that, but, um, you know, I, I'm all about, let's, let's make it mainstream for people. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you are located in the perfect place to teach this because I read on your profile that you run intensives in Hawaii and that's like, you know, paradise. That's like a mm. beautiful place to be teaching Tantra. Yeah, it's, it doesn't hurt that it's beautiful here. And I also like to practice some, you know, eco, eco psychology with people and, and getting them to experience the natural world around them and really connect with themselves and kind of just, you know, the universal truths of who we all are. And Hawaii definitely is conducive to that. It's uh, got lots of good, as they would say, good mana here in Hawaii. And that's, that's good energy. <laughs> mm. So what, what brings you to uh, being drawn to uh, being based between Hawaii and LA? It's, it's funny. Hawaii, definitely, I'm, I'm a little bit of a type A personality by default, and <laughs> Hawaii kind of um, forces oh. me not to be. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and it's where... Hello, you cut off. So I can't hear our guest, Dr. Kate, right now. Yeah, she seems to have dropped off the call. Let me try to get her back. And uh, things like that happens when you have a live show. <laughs> so we just always have to be prepared for whatever comes. So... Yeah. Are we back? We got, I got cut off. Oh, that's, that's okay. Sorry about that. Um, but I was just saying how, um, you know, it's home base and LA is wonderful and fabulous, but this is what really kind of feeds my soul is being here in Hawaii whenever I can. Sorry about that. No, no, no problem. 
Uh, yeah, so that's that's great because the place that we are at really does help nourish our soul. The environment that we are in, it really helps to bring forth the feminine side of us versus, say, New York, which is a much more masculine place. Uh, correct, correct. Yeah, and so I guess it's a little bit of yin, yin and yang, right? So mm. balancing both sides. <laughs> yeah. So I understand you're also a certified yoga teacher. Yeah, and, and the main way that I utilize that now is uh, I've been trained in couples and then yoga therapy. And so I'll utilize it, um, you know, with people who are having issues around, um, you know, touch or, um, or um, you know, positioning or connection in order to increase those oxytocin levels that helps us to bond to partners. And it's also really great to help teach couples uh, breath work. Hmm. Yeah, you 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 certainly are very qualified. You know, you have so many skills that you have over the years accumulated, and it seems like you now package it into something that's very practical, and it makes a lot of sense to people. Yeah, I hope so. I, I like to have lots of diversity and and be able to work with people with different modalities, mm. and it and it obviously keeps it more interesting for me too. So <laughs> I really like that. Mm, yeah, you've been doing this for a very very long time, like fifteen years. More than that. I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have actually fifteen to seventeen. You know, if you include some of my uh, you know earlier graduate work, and mm. I have never been bored. That is for sure. <laughs> Well, you certainly have a very impressive website with uh, um, lots of places that you contribute towards. Thank you. Yeah, um, I've really enjoyed all the different different ways to contribute. Mm. So more about uh, Dr. Kate's book after this break. Best of the conscious minds in the world. Om Times Radio, your conscious lifestyle on steroids. The truth is, you can't change the world if you're broke. I know, I tried. Isn't it time you turned your life's calling into a profitable, freedom based business? I'm Michelle Barr. Join me every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern for Sacred Success. Imagine magnificence. Do you live to your unlimited potential? Join me, Margaret Ann Lembo. Awaken your consciousness. Listen to Money Magnet Moment, Gem Spot Affirmations, Essential Aromatics, and Looking Skyward Astrocast, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. What if business could be fun? What if business is the adventure of living? What are you choosing? Where do you do business that makes it easier, more fun, or more joyful for you? We'd love to see where you do business. Connect with us on Instagram at Joy of Business or Twitter at Joy of Business. And share your pictures with hashtags Business Done Where and Joy of Business. Let's change the world with business. Your conscious lifestyle on steroids. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Welcome back to Eros Evolution, where sexuality and spirituality meets. Today we have with us Dr. Kate Van Kurt, and she's a certified clinical sexologist and licensed marriage and family therapist. She's been doing counseling since counseling, sorry, excuse me, since 1994. And she's the resident sex expert of AdamandEve.com since 19, uh, 2010. So she's highly qualified. She's done so much work. You really would like to check out her website. That's drkate.com. 
also she's written a book and she'll be telling us more about her book the married sex solution a realistic guide to saving your sex life she'll be sharing us right at this moment the five tenets of the marriage sex solution i'm sure most of you would have challenges in your relationships or marriages and when you are in a long term relationship how do you keep things fresh and keep things exciting it's always a challenge that i keep hearing in couples again and again so let's hear more about uh, dr kate's book so um, yeah, yeah tell us more about your book Sure. Um, basically, I've been working on this book uh, off and on throughout the years uh, as a result of, of working with hundreds of clients. And what I kept seeing over and over again for clients was that, you know, many of them want help with their sexuality, but they're so busy and caught up in the, you know, daily living of life, you know, with kids and jobs and you know, many people assume that once they're either married or in a long-term relationship, um, that they just assume that, you know, their relationship and sexuality will go on automatic pilot. And mm. what I try to get people to work with is, yes, becoming conscious and prioritizing your sex life, but also let's find the most efficient, um, least complicated way to do that. And so... With the Married Sex Solution, I came up with, it's basically a week-long program, seven-day program that I get couples to commit to. Okay. And I really avoid getting too esoteric with people um, and, you know, doing like workbooks and journaling and things like that. Because what I really feel like matters for people is body-to-body -body contact. And so uh, as a bare minimum, what I work on getting people to do, even if they're either just you know, laying together side by side, if they're hugging, if they're doing yoga, if they're having sex, that for 10 minutes per day, four times over the course of that one week, yeah. they have body to body contact. Yeah. So, so that, that's the that, first tenant. Yeah. So that would be 10 minutes uh, a day for four times a week. And that's 40 minutes a week. Correct. 40 minutes a week. And, you know, that's basically what, what I'm... I'm saying that if you commit to one hour a week total, because I'm going to talk about um, having two-minute talks in a moment here, but if you basically commit to working on your relationship and your sexuality one hour a week, mm -hmm. it will address the majority of sex problems that you're experiencing. Mm. Okay. And, and why is this body-to-body -body contact so important? Uh, research has indicated that body-to-body -body contact allows for the release of oxytocin, mm. which is a hormone uh, released in the body. It's considered the bonding hormone. Yeah. And it's, it's the same hormone that gets released, for instance, when a mother goes to breastfeed her child. That helps bond her to her child. Well, guess what? It also gets released uh, when we are physically intimate with our partners. And it helps to improve our overall health and wellness, helps us improve mood, and of course, um, lead to healthier, happier feelings about our relationships. Definitely. Um, with, with that, I'm sure it also reduces uh, stress and it helps yes. to synchronize the breathing of the couple. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it, it's seriously just a matter of being present and touching skin to skin. It doesn't get less complicated than that. And, and, and also, too, to remove the expectation of, of having sex. This is another one of my, my tenets mm -hmm. is that during that 10 minute of body, body to body time, you could choose to have sex. You can choose not to have sex. What's important is the skin to skin um, contact. But if you're going to have sex, let's broaden what our definition of sex is. Let's not make it about necessarily, you know, penis in vagina if you're heterosexual. Let's not make it about orgasm either, which is another tenant. Let's allow for what I refer to as like makeout sex. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like the term foreplay because foreplay gives the impression that there's some sort of main event that you're waiting yeah. for. Yeah, that, that somehow penetration is superior. 
to the other um, expressions of sexuality. So I really just try to get people back to like almost when they were teenagers and maybe experiencing sex for the first time and just making it okay to make out and touch each other. Mm. So instead of calling it foreplay, you call it? Um, either sex play, fooling sex around, play. make out sex, any of those um, I would prefer over <laughs> foreplay. Mm. What, what would you have to say to people who say, oh, yeah, you know, that's not real sex? Um, that, it, that, that, that's unfortunate uh, mm. because... There's so much more that you can get out of sex if you really start focusing on the other other sensual aspects. Um, and it can really not only provide more in-depth um, connection and feeling towards your partner, but also, especially for women, um, it, it takes the emphasis off of the penis in the vagina, which most women are not going to orgasm off of that alone anyway. So let's broaden the definition of sex and be more inclusive. And typically when I can get couples to do that, they just have more fun. And when you have more fun, you're, you're more relaxed. You don't have tension about sex. It reduces stress levels and you can just enjoy it. Yeah, fantastic. So far, you've covered uh, three of the five uh, tenets of your marriage sex solution. You talked yes. about body-to-body uh, -body contact, 10 minutes a day, four times a week. You talked about um, not performing. Yes. Uh, being less orgasm-focused. And you talked about um, focusing on more make-out sex. So what else? Yes, you're keeping track. Good job. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, and also just to touch on, on um, the not getting caught up on performing, just to round that out a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I also work with couples on not being so orgasm focused, that if you're going to have sex and you're going to utilize a broader definition of sex, that if you're just trying to stimulate yourself or your partner to the point of orgasm, that creates a lot of pressure and a lot of performance anxiety for people. And so, you know, orgasms are wonderful. Don't get me wrong. They're fabulous. I want people to have them. But I find that people conversely, ironically, have more orgasms when they remove the pressure about having them. If all you have is 10 minutes in the shower before your kids run up the stairs and come grab you for the day, then make out, do whatever you can get in there. It's not about, you know, it's not about ejaculating. It's not about orgasming. It's about the connection with your partner. Because I guarantee you the other ironic thing about this program is, and we're going into the next tenet here, is quantity over quality. Mm -hmm. So the interesting thing about this is a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, it's all about the quality of the interaction. And, you know, my husband and I, well, we only have sex maybe four or five times a year, but when we have it, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm kind of calling BS on that because mm -hmm. um, that means that more than likely you are not having other... Um, opportunities for affection. It means that you're probably not, and I've seen this over and over again with people, um, you're probably not holding hands, you're probably not giving massages, you're probably not making out, because you keep waiting for the stars to align and to have this perfect sexual experience. So I am all about, you know, if, if all you can get in is, is a quickie, you know, 60, 70, 80% of the time, do the quickie. Do the quickie because the funny thing is, is that the more you have sex, mm. the more you tend to have sex. Mm. So, and funny enough, that helps people prioritize it. So again, the ironic aspect of this is that if you're having sex on more of a regular basis, quality just ends up happening on its own <laughs> because yeah. at least, at least you're in that space, right? Yeah. And also you're getting more practice. You're more fit in every way. Oh, very true. Very true. You know, it, um, it helps you, um, it helps your, and for women especially, because, you know, men are testosterone driven, right? Men are very often going to become aroused on their own because they've got testosterone driving their bodies. Women, testosterone is not the primary hormonal component, right? We have testosterone, but not nearly as much as men. So yeah. research has found that women in particular 
need physical stimulation very often in order to get aroused. So what I end up seeing is many, many women who sit around waiting to get the big epiphany of like, okay, now I'm finally aroused. Whereas in actuality, how female sexual response cycle works for most women is that you actually need to either be touching yourself or have someone touch you in order to become aroused. Mm, yeah. You know what I like about your five tenants is there's actually something more geared towards the woman and one more geared towards the man. Like, yeah. you know, drop the performance to get to the big O. That's kind of like a man's thing. They're always yes. going for the goal. And then the, the other one that you're now talking about is the quantity versus the quality. And that's more like what, what men really, you know, what women tend to be lacking more in, which is, oh, you know, I don't really feel like it. And what right. you just said, which is, well, just, just have more stimulation and just have more and then it's actually easier. Yeah, absolutely. It's almost like training yourself. You know what I mean? It's like you have to, women in particular, they need a little extra help. Like there are some women who have great sex drives and that's wonderful. But there are the majority of women that I've, I've come into contact over the years just they don't have that extra testosterone so if you don't have that you need to make a commitment to like to either be masturbating on a more regular basis or having your partner step up and you know being open to having your partner step up and provide more physical stimulation mm. that's really great yeah no, thank you. It's and, and the thing is with this program is it's just been highly successful. Like I see people who really change their sex lives over the course of a week. And the beauty, beauty of it is that there's no end or no beginning to it. So you can even jump, you, you know, you're fine for six or eight months, you know, and then up, oh, you know, once or twice a year, you just reincorporate the tenants and start all over. Mm. Okay, let's talk more about this after the break. And we'll talk about the last tenant. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Do you have time to read that inspiring book? Or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. Be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth radio is conscious living for your soul. Every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Matt Connerton here. Join Jen Coffee and I twice a week for Matt Connerton Unleashed, a political talk show that's a little different than what you're used to. No liberal or conservative agenda here, just an honest dialogue about truth and how things really work in the world of politics. Matt Connerton Unleashed, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. 
Welcome back to Eros Evolution, where sexuality and spirituality meets. This is Dr. Martha Tara Lee of Eros Coaching, and you can find me on my website, that's www.erosCoaching.com. You are listening to Eros Evolution on Om Times Radio Network. You can share this show with your friends by sending them the link, omtimes.com forward slash mobile. With this link, your friends will be able to listen to our show without needing to have to download any application. Today we have with us Dr. Kate Van Kurt and she's a licensed marriage and family therapist who has been working in the field of counselling since 1994. She's a sex therapist and board certified clinical sexologist through the American College of Sexology. She has a bachelor degree from Arizona State University in Family Resources and Human Development. She also has a master's degree in counseling psychology and she has a PhD in human sexuality, clinical sexology from Institute for Advanced Study of Human Sexuality. As you can probably tell by now, she has a lot of degrees. She is also a member of the Society of the Study of Sexuality and American Association of Sex Educators counselors and therapists, that's a sect. She is also the Associate Professor for Institute for Advanced Study of Human Sexuality and the Adjunct Professor of Akam, Akamia, uh, oh, University. Akamai. Akamai University, yeah. that's in Hawaii. And so you can tell she is highly qualified to be talking about her book, The Marriage Sex Solution. So she's just talked about the four of the five tenants and we will be listening to the last one. So Dr. Kate, take it away. Oh, thank you. Um, so the last tenant is all about doing what we're doing right now, which is talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I find very often with clients who have sexuality issues that there is a lack of dialogue and very often they are one or both partners are not comfortable with or just don't have the vocabulary to talk about sex. And so um, therefore, if you're a little gun shy about it, very often you just don't go there. Um, so what I try and give people permission to do is uh, during the one week that they've committed to doing this program is to have simply just two minute talks. Um, so we talked about how, you know, 10 minute body to body contact four days out of the week. Mm -hmm. um, we, I'm also suggesting two minute talks four days out of the week as well. Oh, time is four. Yeah. And that's yep. eight minutes a week. Correct. <laughs> yeah. So we're basically, you know, we're, we're talking about 48 minutes, you know, less than an hour, mm. less than the amount of time it takes you to watch a couple of sitcoms <laughs> to, uh, you know, not just improve your sex life, but I found that people's um, couples have improved their relationship overall. They end up communicating better and negotiating conflict better and having a higher quality of life and, and satisfaction with their life overall because sexuality really is a conduit to all of that. We None of us exist in a vacuum. We're all a holistic, integrated um, being. And sex is a great way to help address a multitude of issues. So uh, just to clarify, when you say the two-minute check-in talks, do you mean talking about sex specifically or like what's going on in their lives? Yeah, so I'm talking about sex specifically. And in the book, I give people you know, two different ways to do this. Cause, because I know sometimes people have a really difficult time coming up with what to talk about. So... Um, I give some of what I call fast and loose principles, which are, you know, uh, just kind of getting people to take the two minutes and talk about whatever it is with sex or the body contact or anything to do with their relationship. Um, so that they, or, you know, maybe they've seen something on the media. Uh, maybe they've saw a sex scene either that they thought was really hot or one that disturbed them, or it doesn't matter. As long as it has to do with sex or the relationship, that's what gives them permission to talk about it. And right. what I found, again, another totally ironic aspect of this is that very rarely do people stick to two minutes. If, if they can just commit to the two minutes, they end up actually talking for a lot longer. But again, there's not that expectation. So it gives them permission to go there. And then if they end up talking longer, great. And if they don't, well, they met the two minute requirement and uh, that's gonna benefit you anyway. 
Ah, I like what you're doing. It's really sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I, you know, I just like to, um, I like to kind of, you know, sneak in there with people and, and help them realize how easy it is if you remove all the crazy expectations of like, you know, uh, you know, flowery commit, you know, commitments and, you know, guttural, ta- you know, chanting and technical jargon and, you know, doctors in white coats telling you to do like, you know, crazy positions. It is so not about that. It is so basic and it's so primal about just connecting to someone. And so, so in addition to the fast and loose suggestions for some people who need more help in figuring out what to talk about, uh, in the book, I also give them a day by day guide if they'd rather do that. Um, so I, I give them jumping off points, you know, I call them sparks, um, sparks of conversation um, about, you know, um, okay, today, you know, let's talk about what works about orgasm and what doesn't. Today, let's talk about, you know, um, the makeout sex and what worked and what didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's a little more structured for the people who need structure, or it's a little more loose for people who just want to, you know, just jump in. Yeah, I, I, I love what you're saying, you know, because sex is uh, considered a taboo subject or sensitive subject. So some couples, they end up having sex, but they don't necessarily talk about it. So by getting them to start talking about it, it breaks the ice and then it becomes much more real and they get much deeper and comfortable with each other. So even just talking about it can be the start of uh, having sex. Right, exactly. Yeah, and, and and again, it's it's a it's a great way to benefit the rest of the relationship in addition to the sex stuff. Mm. Yeah, I love the exercises that is. Uh, it seems to be in your books. I definitely am so interested, so curious to get a copy of it. So the the we can get yeah. it on Amazon. I know that. Where is there anywhere else we can get your book? Uh, right now, Amazon's pretty much it, um, and I, I could definitely, I, I still, I meant to send you a PD, PDF copy, but I ran out of time there on that, so I'll still get you a copy of that, but yeah, it's it's on Amazon, and I've got a link to it on my homepage on drcat.com, mm-hmm. and, um, I, you know, basically, I'm looking for it to become, um, it's in Kindle format right now. Uh, but it should be coming out in book for- format, hopefully by the end of the year. Cool. Fantastic. Yeah. You mentioned just now that uh, you have a seven-day program. So does your book cover the seven-day step-by-step, or is that the process you bring your clients through in private coaching? Um, it, the, the book basically outlines, you know, because you were talking about four instances of the talking and the body-to-body contact within the seven days. Mm. So um, that is incorporated into the book, but it definitely came out of what I was doing in private practice. Mm. So, um, and it, you know, I, I really like to tailor things when I'm working with people in private practice. Uh, I, I do Skype sessions for some people who don't have accesses, access to resources where they are. Um, but I also do in office and then also, you know, the intensive retreat, uh, sort of work and, um, you know, kind of tailor it to whatever people seem like they will be more, the most responsive to. So tell us more about your intensives. How, how long a commitment do people need to make? Uh, it, it varies. Usually the intensives are done either here in Hawaii, which again can be a fabulous place to do that and a great excuse to get in, you know, a holiday, a vacation and mm. work on your relationship. Um, or there have been times where I've gone to people and wherever they're located have done intensives with them. And it's either a, um, a three, five or seven day commitment typically of about three hours of, of face-to-face therapy a day along with homework assignments and exercises. So it's for people who really want drastic, massive change to their sex and relationships quickly. Um, and uh, I found that that's a good, good way to do that. Mm. I love how creative you are with your work, with your book, with all the ideas that you have. Thanks. That's that's what really keeps it fun. You know, I it's funny. I started out a long time ago as someone who was 
really drawn to like art and theater. And when I first got into like into sexuality, sexology and marriage and family therapy, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to be fed creatively, but turns out I've had plenty of different avenues to do that. So it's been really, it's been really great for me. Mm, Yeah. Um, Maybe if you could just share a little bit about the process in which you came up with this five tenants. Um, sure. Uh, it's it's come out of working with a multitude of clients over the years and really with the patterns I was seeing with people. Um, all of us have really, um, for the most part, grown up in a sex negative society, whether it came directly from our parents or from the media um, or from some of our religious proclivities. And so I find that a lot of the work that I've done has really been um, working with people to unpack that and unravel what that sex negativity is about. And I found that you, when we remove a lot of those barriers and really reframe sex about how positive and life-changing and, again, easy, that's the thing, easy, this is not rocket science, you know, Um that it really helps people self-actualize and have the kind of not just sex life, but life that they want. Fantastic. I think this is one of the most practical shows that we've had so far because you sharing with us things that are simple, easy, practical, and anyone can just start doing it. It's just a matter of maybe convincing their partner. Right. Yeah. Very often, you know, I'll get one partner that I'm working with and maybe there's another partner that's got some resistance because, I mean, let's face it, nobody really wants to go to therapy. You know, <laughs> you know I'm not people's favorite person, right? Because therapy is not necessarily fun and it, it's, yeah. it, and it confronts issues and, it, and you're supposed to feel uncomfortable with some of the stuff because that's where the growth is. Mm. And so... Um, A lot of it, I think, is working with clients um, and let's say they've brought a partner in and I'm kind of making my case for it. And what I really get them to realize is that we're talking minimal effort, that if you are motivated to save your sex life, to save your relationship, um, what's the most efficient, reasonable way to do that that's not going to intimidate or turn people off and to help make it fun? And, um, you know, I'd say 98% of the time I get the buy-in from the partner um, Mm. because they realize it doesn't have to be a big deal. Mm. Yeah, not like pulling teeth. (laughs) Right, 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 right. Yeah, I really hope to change people's expectations of what they think, you know, sex Mm. therapy is. Okay, so more after this break. Thank you so much. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Dr. Kevin here, and I want to invite you every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, to join me on The Dr. Kevin Show, where we have a diversity of guests who help you step outside the box, behind the curtain, and see what a load of crap is going on in the world today, so you have more information with which to make better decisions. We'll see you there. Namaste. What if living didn't have to be so serious? What if you could move beyond your problems with greater confidence and ease than you've ever imagined? Throw your labels out the window and join the irreverent therapist for practical tips and a very different way of approaching the changes you would like to create. Marilyn Bradford and Pam Hodling have empowered hundreds of people to come out of self-judgment, quit looking to experts, and begin to create the lives they desire. Join us Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on The Irreverent Therapist Show. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. As difficult as it is to believe, 
There are places in Africa where human traffickers sell albino children and their body parts for use in magic rituals. Humanity Healing International is actively working in Uganda to change this paradigm. The Albino Rescue Project finds albino children who are at risk and places them in safe schools and environments where they can learn and grow free from fear. To learn more or to sponsor a child, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Welcome back to Eros Evolution, where sexuality and spirituality meet. Today we have with us Dr. Kate, who has been telling us about the five tenets of her married sex solution. She tells us that this book is the self-help book for people who hate self-help, and it's practical, realistic, fun to read, and this is finally a book that both partners will feel like they can actually do. We talked about 